So you're interested in finding out which is the most dangerous thing you might have to do that your driving instructor probably didn't teach you. It's overtaking on a country road. I'm pretty sure you won't have been taught this because I gave a, a talk to about 30 driving instructors a few weeks ago and none of them ever taught the pupils how to overtake on a country road. It's the most dangerous thing that you might have to do because it may well involve a head-on collision if you don't get it done correctly. After a few minutes of watching this film, hopefully you'll know how to do it. Best of luck. Okay Tom, so we've done quite a bit of overtaking on dual carriageways. What we're going to do today is we're going to overtake on a single carriageway. What we're going to do though is we're going to practice that on the dual carriageway. Okay. So when we're on the dual carriageway, and we'll assume that there are two lanes on the dual carriageway, yeah. we're going to assume that it's only one, and this is us in the car mark number one. Here's the car we're going to overtake. What we're going to do is we're going to move up into what's called the overtaking position. Now normally the closest we get to a car in front is two seconds or four seconds on a wet day. What we're going to do is we're going to move up into the overtaking position which is about half a second behind the car in front and a little bit more to the right so that we can see what's coming up the road. Even though it's a dual carriage where we're going to pretend it's one. So we're going to get into the overtaking position so that we can see ahead that nothing's coming. If it's safe we're going to pop it down into third gear, check the middle and right mirror, signal right, move out and then we're going to accelerate as fast as we can, putting your foot flat down on the floor to accelerate past the car we're overtaking. When we can see him in the headlights, we're going to check the middle, uh, the left mirror, signal and come back in. What we're going to do is practice this on the dual carriageway, just to make sure that you're comfortable accelerating hard in third gear, get used to the thrust of the car and the sound of the engine. The way that you're going to know that you're not going to over rev the car is we're going to check the, the rev counter, so that when you give the car uh, as much acceleration as possible to get past the car we're overtaking we know that we're not going to be over revving the car. Any questions with that? No, that's all fine. Good. So we're going to do that a couple of times on the dual carriageway then we're going to do exactly the same thing on the single carriageway using exactly the same techniques. The thing we've got to be sure about just before we decide to overtake is that there is nothing coming towards us and that we can accelerate hard to get over what will be the centre of the road on a single carriageway and back onto our side of the road. Okay. Happy? Yep, brilliant. Good. Okay, <coughs> let's go whenever you're ready. Fantastic. What off. Okay Tom, so we're now on the dual carriageway and we can see the car in front isn't going too quickly. So we'll let's get into about half a second behind the car in front. We'll check the middle and right barrel. Yeah. We'll move over a little bit. Yeah. If it's safe, third gear, mirror and signal Slow the accelerator and steer around for it. Really good. And then we'll make nice and positive. And then we'll check the mirrors and come back in. Good driving. Now you can slow down. Slow down. We've done some. We've got another opportunity perhaps. So we're going to look well ahead. We can see there are no hazards ahead. Yeah. So let's move into the overtaking position. Half a second behind it. Yeah. We can check the mirrors, yep. drop it into third gear, recheck the mirrors, signal and accelerate hard. Fall flat down and away we go. Good. Wonderful. It is important to remember to accelerate as hard as you can to get the car going so that we're on the wrong side of the road as short a time as possible. We did a great job with that. Thank you. What we're going to do now is we're going to find a country road and do the same thing. Yep. Okay Tom, so now we're on a, a single carriageway. We obviously don't want to be attempting to overtake with a sharp bend, Brava Hill, dead ground, any junctions or anywhere else where something could surprise us because we can't see well ahead. So until we get a nice clear road ahead, yep. we're going to keep a two second gap. Okay. If as we go around a bend you can see up the road that it looks to be clear and there's a possibility of overtaking, then we'll move into the overtaking position. Until then we'll just hang back. Good. And please take the next road on the right. Thank you. And you might get an opportunity as you turn right to look beyond this car, which has been going reasonably slowly, yep. and see if you can get the opportunity to overtake straight away. Okay. Good. It looks clear.
clear, so middle of my mirror, and let's position it, make it a signal, signal, before you overtake. Okay, so that was a bit rushed, wasn't it? We still want to be able to do mirror, signal, position. Let's go past you. Okay. Again. When will you going to overtake? Make sure that you do mirror signal first time. Yep. Good. And well done for not having a go at it with this bend coming up. Thank you. Quite right. of a hill. Yep. How does it look ahead? Um, there's a bend coming round. Good. Yeah. So when the car in front of us goes round the bend, yep. we can look on the inside. Yeah. See if it's safe. Yeah. If it is, mirror, signal, position. Okay. Or mirror, no signal, no position. If it's not safe. Yeah, it's still crest of a hill. Good. So Can let's the crest of check the middle and right mirror. Move over a little bit. Is it safe? Yep. Good. Put the flat down. Well done. And away the car goes. Well done, Tom. Thank you. Are you happy with that? Very. Yes, thank you. Good.